Hey YouTube, Wildcat Piper here, coming from the Wildcat Lounge. Hope everybody's doing fantastic tonight. I am uh, doing very well. I am smoking my Friday Savinelli. Got this uh, little pipe here, got famous from Matches 860 John, who made these famous. And uh, great smoking pipe. I can see why he likes them. And I'm going to share with you what I have in it here a little bit later. It is the uh, topic of my video tonight. I don't know about you guys, but uh, in the fall, I find my palette changing just a little bit going from the summer to the fall and summer you know I'm like most guys I don't smoke a lot in the summer just because it's so hot but as the fall comes in it's my favorite time to smoke a pipe and uh, I have blends that I, that kind of stand out to me in the fall I don't know if you guys are that way or not but there are certain blends that I like to smoke in the fall season I'm going to share some of those with you guys tonight. Some of them you will probably uh, realize that kind of a no-brainer that someone would smoke these in the fall, but um, it, there there is a lot of people who do smoke a different blend in the fall than they do any other time of the year. So. What I put together are my five, five of the blends I like to smoke in the fall. It's not my top five. It's not uh, my favorite, necessarily my favorite. But these are just five blends that I enjoy smoking in the fall season. Uh, number one, which is also in my pipe tonight, is Autumn Evening by Cornell and Deal. Um, I really like uh, Autumn Evening. It's got a great uh, taste to it. It is, it is an aromatic. And it's got Cavendish and Virginias in it. Um, it's a coarse cut. I don't mind packing coarse cuts. Ribbons, um, I have to uh, pretty much break up everything else. <laughs> but uh, I really like uh, the Autumn Evening. I smoke it a lot in the fall time. Matter of fact, just to kind of give you a hint, usually keep two jars of this and I'm down to my my second jar so I may need to get another one uh, and let it cellar while I smoke the remainder of this this fall but I enjoy autumn evening it's not number one it's just one of my five number two of my five is a blend by Boswell's I enjoy English's in the fall as well and this one is called railroad station now, I know what some of you are saying. You like Englishes all the time. <laughs> that is correct. I do enjoy Englishes. It's, it is my favorite blend. And uh, <clears throat> the next two that I share with you are Englishes. This one here is, uh, is a, by Scotty's, I mean by Boswell's. It is a Boswell blend. And um, it. Uh, uh, has black Cavendish, uh, Latakia has Virginias, and it's a ribbon cut. Um, very good English. Those of you who don't want a, a, a real strong English, um, very mild, very good one to, uh, to try out and to start with. The second one is also in English, and it is not so light. <laughs> so those of you who really like a English forward blend, this is a great one. Uh, I love this stuff, but I do like smoke, smoking it in the fall. I think the reason why I like English is in the fall is because it has that campfire smell, and you kind of that kind of reminds you of the fall. That Scotty's blends. Um, got the wrong one. That's Trout Stream. Uh, Scotty's blend English Stout. Um, this is English Stout by Scotty's. It's also a, a very strong English, but one that I enjoy immensely. It's got Englishes, Latakia, 
uh, Orientals and Virginias in it. And you saw the other one that I was going to show you. It's a Scotty's Blend. Um, and it is uh, Trout Stream. It's this one right here. This is an aromatic. It's got Golden Cavendish um, with Sweet Black Cavendish. It's got a, a Butter uh, Scotch topping in it. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good, enjoyable blend as well. Now, my, my fifth one, and probably one that everybody likes in the fall, if you've never tried this, shame on you. Um, it is Strauss Tobacconist Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> this is one of six jars that I have of Sleepy Hollow. Um, I, I really like it from about now all the way through Christmas and uh, and uh, I, I enjoy smoking that. Sleepy Hollow is Black Cavendishes and Virginias. It's got kind of a pumpkin, cinnamon, uh, vanilla taste to it. It's got an incredible tin note. Um, if those of you who like aromatics, you will love the tin note of, Stra of uh, Sleepy Hollow. Now, Here's a caveat. Last year when I ordered it, and I ordered a pound, my brother and I both ordered a pound of it, uh, they said that it may never come back. Um, but they have relaxed a little bit about the uh, about these um, things that were going to happen to our tobacco. And so that may not be true. I don't know. They only make it in October. So you have, that's the only time you can order Sleepy Hollow is in October, just like their Wenceslas, you can only order it in December. Um, so you have to kind of get in line, and it's usually a very long line, but they do very good about getting it out. Are they going to have it this year? I have no idea if uh, Sleepy Hollow will be back. Um, they told us last year that it would not be. Um, but we thought that those uh, restrictions would be enforced in the spring, which never happened. So, I'm not real sure. Um, just check with Strauss. If anybody knows anything about that, please uh, leave a comment below. I'm probably not going to get any this year. I've got, <laughs> I've got a ton of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, my brother and I both do. So, but it is, it is a spectacular blend. Now, if you're not an aromatic fan, I would still encourage you to at least try it, but you may not want to get up as much as, uh, as what we did. My brother's not an aromatic fan, and he really enjoys it, though. If you're trying to find that blend that you can smoke inside, that's the ticket. Um, it is very pleasant. In a room note, and uh, the wives seem to be okay with it. So <clears throat> that's my five. There are a ton of them out there. Here's something you know I was realizing. In one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to share my other five, and that's just, that's going to be the title of it. It's it's just those five blends that. You do find yourself smoking, but probably won't make your top five. But as you know, we smoke a lot of blends that are not, that are not in our top five. Uh, matter of fact, I probably smoke non-top five blends more so than I do smoke my top five blends. So there's a lot of blends out there that are really, really good, but they're just not in a top five. So what are those blends? Um, I've got I've got about five that I'm going to share. I got to kind of whittle it down a little bit more, but I'm going to share what my not so five top blends are. Doesn't mean I don't like them. It doesn't mean I hate them. It just means that uh, they're great blends that probably probably would not make uh, my top five. It might even be some of these. You know, a trout stream that is a great great blend, but may not make my top five. Um, Sleepy Hollow has been in my top five and probably is real close to staying in the top five. We'll have to see how this year pans out. But I always like to have at least one or two aromatics in my top five just because I do smoke a lot of aromatics. But what about you? What are your 
favorite fall blends? What are your favorite fall blends? Do a VR or leave leave it down in the message. But what what blends do you like to smoke in the fall? Well, that's all I got for tonight. Blow some smoke rings in the air tonight, my friends. But above all, be blessed. I will talk to you soon.